So I began to dig in that thing. I began to go to the level portion of Chronicles. But when the Ark of the Covenant was being restored, the Bible says that David himself, he follows the protocol of the Levites. And the Bible says that he has on fine white linen. And he comes into the presence of the Lord. Because he was excited that the presence of the Lord was there. And he began to dance all out of his clothes. That was a praise that came out of him. Because the presence of the Lord was available. Watch this. He says, and I'm almost there. He says, they had reverence. They respected him. They showed up in his presence knowing that he was present. And they didn't offer him anything. They gave him their best. They knew how to get God to come in the midst of them. Watch this. The next thing as I began to read that they said that they came in with praise and worship. And their praise and their worship got God's attention. They knew how to praise and worship God to get his attention. Watch this. The next thing that he said, he said their voices were as one trumpet. They knew how to sound the alarm and pray. That ain't coming in. I just hear. Praise. No, 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 no. The Bible says they came in God's presence offering him something. And then their voices were like trumpets. He said the trumpets were lifted up and they were on one accord. And so when you hear me scream, I always used to wonder God, what was the all oh, God coming from? And the Lord began to show me. He says, you ain't got a physical trumpet. He says, but I've launched a trumpet and it's time of your throat. He says, and when you open up your mouth and you begin to scream, you begin to support me. When you begin to move forward on one accord, he says, I hear it. You're provoking me to come. He says, you're provoking me to come. You're provoking me. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm a host. The Bible says that their voices made one sound. Somebody say one sound. Their voices were as trumpets in praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel a breaking right there. Their voices were as trumpets in praise. Now one time since we got the concept, can we just open up our mouths on one accord and go ahead and support God on one accord? Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. On one accord, your voices, you're provoking him to come. He get up a whole side. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, He get up a whole side. He get up a whole. Watch this. He says their voices were as trumpets and praise. And I now, watch this. He got my soul. He got up a whole side. He says that his glory was released from the noise. <laughs> he said that glory, my glory wasn't released because they came in my presence any kind of way. He said my glory was released in their life because they knew how to come to me praising me. They knew how to come to me in the worship. They knew how to lay aside themselves. They knew how to dress themselves up and wash their face. They learned the principle of shabbating God. They learned the principle of worshiping God. They learned the principle of giving God some glory. Giving God some credit. Giving God some worship. Giving God a consecrated life. A sanctified lifestyle. A purified lifestyle. A life of holiness. A life of sanctification. A life of purity. A life where God could come in and not withhold his glory from you. Hallelujah. He got him a whole side. He said, I release my glory. Come into my presence right. Come into my temple right. Get in my face right. Stop closing up your mouth in the worship. He says, I need to hear your voice. Will you seek my face? He says, let me hear your trumpet. Let me hear your pipes. Watch it. He says they came in with a worship. They came in with their mouths open. They came in with worship and praise on their lips. Watch this. The Bible says that on one accord, 
they began to say something to God. And when they began to speak to God, telling him who he was, telling him how great he was, telling him how awesome he was, telling him that he's a mighty God, telling him, God, that you're omnipotent Father, saying to him, holy is the Lamb, saying to him, great is you, God, great and greatly is to be praised, telling him that your name is high and lifted up, telling him above all the earth, telling him that I love you, God, I adore you, God, I worship you, God, I adore you, God, I love you, God, there's none like you, God. None like you in the earth, oh God. None like you in the heaven, oh God. Holy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. When they learned how to come in like that. The Bible says that the glory of God was released. Oh, watch this. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. The Bible says all of a sudden. And they were in that place of praise. All of a sudden, as they was in that place of worship, all of a sudden, as they was in that place, the Bible says that the glory of God popped on them. It popped in the room. And the drop was so intensified that the priest couldn't even stand. The priest didn't even have no need to usher up anything because the glory of God was available. 